Hey guys, we are back for another video. So let's jump on into this video really quickly. We're going to be talking about I'll Be Sure. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with I'll Be Sure, I'll Be Sure um, was in a relationship with Kim Porter at some time, and they do have a son, which is Quincy. Now, if you guys recall, Quincy is actually I'll Be Sure's son. But you probably, if you don't follow the story or if you didn't know, you would probably thought that that was Diddy's son. That is not Diddy's biological son. Well, I'm going to jump into this video because Al B. Shore has come out and he has made some very, very um, damaging statements. So let's go ahead and jump into our intro so we can talk about it. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Right. Eh? Yes. And thanks to everyone who has already went over to my Patreon and subscribed and followed. For those of you who have not had the opportunity to do so, please go ahead after you watch this video and just go to patreon.com if you're not familiar with how to get to Patreon. It's real simple. Just go to Google, type in patreon.com. Once the website comes up, click on search or find your creator and go ahead and hit Lakeisha Keisha. Guys, so let's talk about who Al B. Sure is. As I recently stated, Al B. Sure is the biological father of Quincy. Now, Quincy is also Kim Porter's son. And as you guys already know, Kim Porter also was in a relationship with Diddy at one point in time. And they have the three um, children, which is the twins and then um, Christian, which goes by the name of King Combs. Now, let's start to talk about the background story with Al B. Shore. Al B. Shore was in a coma for two months and almost died. Um, it was discovered that he had suffered from renal failure and other illnesses. Doctors thought that they were going to actually have to put Al B. Shore in hospice. He was on a ventilator and he had many things going on. Um, and for those of you who may not know, a ventilator is simply, you know, a machine that is really um, either helping you breathe or breathing for you. It's one of the two. But at any rate, um, Al B. Sure was in a very bad condition, very bad condition. And again, as doctors stated, um, you know, they wanted to put him in hospice. And all of a sudden, he turned around and um, he's better. Well, Al B. Sure is speaking out because it is being speculated. Um, Y'all know that, you know, they's trying to say that allegedly, allegedly, that Diddy probably had something to do um, with all of those things that happened to him. Because again, he could have died, but he made it and he is here. Well, looks like I'll be sure is doing a, um, well, let's get into what I'll be sure is going to tell y'all that he's getting ready to do. So let's get into this vi um, this brief video snippet, y'all. We're going to be producing the I'll Be Sure Life Story. So hold on to your, hold on to your britches. You'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. You're really gonna need to call Homeland Security. Quincy is wonderful, Albert is wonderful, Devin is wonderful. I'm a happy grandfather. I'm truly in an amazing place. Um, it's unfortunate that social media got their panties in an uproar for telling my son that I love you. I send him a text like that every day. Mm -hmm. Just follow his new platform and you'll understand why. Guys, so Al B. Sure is seriously hinting that Diddy definitely had something to do with him being in a coma. I mean, to say you really gonna have to call Homeland Security. Now, who did he think 
that we would think he was talking about when this was all over the news. Well, let's just jump into it. So it is, you know, being alleged that Al B. Shore was speaking about Kim Porter's death and he was making accusations that Kim did not die the way that people think that she died. Now, Kim Porter is obviously Diddy's ex, um, the twins' mother, um, and also Christian's mom. And she suddenly fell ill and she died. And I'll be sure um, had been saying that she didn't just die, that it's more to it. And then all of a sudden, he was in a coma. So he is definitely being shady and implying that Diddy had something to do with it. He didn't come out and say it, but who else would he make a reference about Homeland Security? Come on, guys. We got to, we, we know who he's talking about. Then he makes a reference as to his son, Quincy, and saying that, hey, I send him a text like that all the time. And I think the misconception here is people see Quincy with Diddy and we don't see them anyway. We only see what they post on social media. So we don't really know what goes on in these people's lives. So it looks like social media is basically like, okay, I'll be sure. Where have you been? Well, I'm sure he's been, you know, been the same place that he's always been just because we don't see Quincy posting in pictures with him and all, you know, the camaraderie that we see between him, Diddy, um, and the other children does not mean that he doesn't have a relationship with his son. And this was one of the messages that Al B. Sure posted. And he said, come home. The door is wide open. So he is in so many ways telling his son, which is Quincy, to come home. And that is a direct reference to what we saw on television. If you guys were watching the raid of Diddy's homes, you saw Justin in handcuffs and you also saw King Combs, which is Christian. They were in handcuffs. Obviously, when they are doing a raid, you either gonna have to be in handcuffs or you're going to be detained, or you're going to have to not be in the property. Obviously, they cannot do a raid when people are wandering freely in the property. So Al B. Shore took to his social media and told his son, hey, it's safe over here. You can leave. You can come here. The door is open. Um, but Al B. Shore is like, listen, I talk to my son all the time. I always send him, you know, these sorts of attacks. So it's for everybody to know that Yes, Diddy is someone like a second father, but his real true dad is Al B. Shore.